hello friends welcome back to my channel in this video i will explain you how we can use the rtc command read rtc command in siemens plc sm200 and before start this video please like share and subscribe this channel this way you will be never miss my upcoming videos so let's get started first of all we will open our step 7 micro win software and then we will choose the any bit from the bit logic and click double click on it on it and we will choose sm0.0 for example and next we will choose the clock in the clock section we will take the read rtc that one double click on, on it and after you will get the read rtc command and here you can use the data register bb0 because of when you use any data registers you have to be six up to seven data registers have to be used in the this series basically read rtc command is but this is the a real time clock so which is mat match with your pc also and in plc when you make it make the settings inside the plc after this clock will be continue runs any time when person make it power on that clock will be continuously runs and set the date and times and everything so if you like to see this one also go to the plc and here you can see this the time of day clock click on this one after you can get here that time and everything for example if you like to change it here times it will be shown but if you make the correct time which is the like which you like to be set inside the plc that's you can are match with this one 9.57 pm now and 19 date and 12 month december means 2024 this you like to set you match with this one you have to be read pc then you click on read pc after this will be automatically detect the time of the computer and write it here you can see this is the now time is also running 9 58 24 pm and so here is also same time running and this all settings make after you go to the make the set now your time is set and this you have to be download to the plc it's very simple and easy method to use the serial clock so download and again click it okay and click the run plc and make this status on now as per seen we can see this is sm0.0 is the continually open close bit this will be continuous run and this is now showing on the 36 this 36 is what means 36 is showing that one date your 2024 but this is why showing this 36 because of this 36 is unsigned data when you check in the uh, hexadecimal after you can see this value of the 2024 so it's very simple you like to see this one you go to the status page here and click it ok and after you will write it here which data system you read in the rtc command so vb vb0 and click enter and when you see this is the unsigned data is 36 now current value is showing and this all data you have to be in serial wise you can type inside the status chart vb1 so next vb2 and next vp3 and next 
vb4 and next vb5 and next vb6 we will write the last this is the six six data registers are used and how the six data registers are used this 36 is now showing your uh, your year yani 2024 and this 18 what showing 18 is your showing your date and this 25 is showing this one your yani month how much this is showing look like because of this unsigned data when we click it on this one and we will make the hexadecimal when you make it the hexadecimal after you can see this is the 24 date same as this 24 showing this first data register vb0 is showing 2024 and next when you change this also data hexa index hexadecimal 12 you can see 16 bit and 12 this one you can see this is the month of this year and next in this also if you put in the hexadecimal you can see the date correct date of the 19 because of this unsigned data you can see another see this is unsigned data is 25 showing but when you put in hexadecimal after you can see this is the 19 date correct so this date is now showing 19 12 24 and this is the clock running clock is unsigned this one vb3 is running about yani 22 means this is 10 yani 10 10 when you see in the english time this is when 10 it will be shows 22 means 12 plus 10 is 22 so and next this one but showing this unsigned this is also put in hexadecimal after 0 to this is the minutes you can see this is hours and this is in vb4 this is minutes you can see and this vb5 is running is your seconds journey this also you can put in hexadecimal but it's showing at 0 1 2 3 4 also look like same this will showing seconds here not showing in my pc but in plc you can see this value 13 14 these seconds are running this is 10 3 10 hours and 3 minutes and 22 seconds so this data you can status online can be seen and also if you like to use this real time clock time what's the benefit of this real clock Go to the main OB back and stop this simulation status and next here you can use the comparison command for example click it this one in uh, bit logic this compare in compare section you can see this one compare section for example this greater than or equal command I will choose and here I will write vp10 for example and value i will put in vb25 for example any data register you can choose and after you can choose your any bit in bit logic this coil i will take this coil can be a q0.0 or for example 0 0.1 or which you like to be designed for example, this is your real time clock is running inside the PLC and your plant is any means closed or whatever or this PLC for example you are using in the furnace plants look like there is there is not like to be stop the water inside because of this coils uh, if you stop the water it will be continuously needs to be run some pumps or motors or for example any lights if you like to be run on and off with by the this real clock time any 12 hours after 13 hours 14 hours 2 days 3 days 6 months how many times you like to be set you can see this value in status chart in here status chart 
after this values so according to this value you can make the settings in the in this command section here when this will be equal or greater than or equal with also you can use crot only just equal command if you like to be used you can use the equal command and after what you do this vb25 you can make any settings with according to your time so i will explain you this one download to the plc wait for some seconds and download and click it ok and again click ok and now make the status on and now how you can set the value you can see this is the vb10 we using this one but sorry this vb10 we wrong use this data register if we like to use the time for example so which data we have to be choose wait for a second i have to be check it here for example we are using with the time yani this is second this is minutes and this is hours we use the minutes so there is now 6 minutes i will put now 8 is finish we will put the 9 and this data register is vb4 so vb4 we will use this vb4 data register we will choose for this one value vb25 and again download to the plc maybe in this mean time we can get the time download and click it okay and click it okay and make the simulation on now at the vb4 you can see the value is 7 and here is also 7 is ready 10.7 pm so we will set the value it here for example change the value we will put it here 9 we will put the 9 and now you can see your q0.0 is off and we use this one vb4 that's the minutes of your clock this pc or plc now is 8 is ready at the vb4 we will wait for 1 minute after 1 minute after our q0.0 will be on and this q0.0 you can use in your hardware for any light or something or pump or motor or whatever any you know, which is depend on your logic which you like to be energize make it on and off that q0.0 you can attach with your hardware and now is it and here is also it as will be completed this 9 time 9 minutes after your q0.0 will be energize can see now 9 is ready and here is also 9 and your q0.0 is on and if you like to be use equal equal yani 9 after like to be stop and start 1 minute after or 2 minutes yani which time you will be decide you can use it here this one equal command just in the compare section you can see this one equal command you can use this one if you like to be data register in vb used into this values you can use if you like to be in d after you can use this these if your real floating values if you like to be used you can use these data registers so it's very simple and easy method to you can make the on off control with your clock time real clock time so hope guys you will be like my video you will understand this video if not understand anything you can send me the message in comment section i will give you feedback as soon as possible so thanks for watching allah hafiz